Hello, my friends. Sheik's here. Anthony here. <laughs> and welcome to Friday Night Live tonight. We have a great snack for you guys, as usual. Yeah. And it's a Canadian snack. I didn't even know this. Oh, but hooray. I, I looked into it. So I did some research for this one. But, okay. Uh, how are you doing, Anthony? Huh? How are you doing? Uh, okay. <laughs> What's going on before we start? Who I, we got here? Uh, we have Edward here, and that's it. Good evening, Cheeks and Anthony. <laughs> hey, Edward. How did it go with that check last week? You said you were looking into Remember you said he was going to go find something, and they said he had them. It was a backyard barbecue. Mm -hmm. Doritos. Did you try the backyard burrito, uh, Doritos yet? Uh, the, tell us what you thought the of them. We actually bought another bag. We did? Yes. Anthony. Oh, yeah, we, we bought, had that last night. That was the new bag. Another <laughs> one, you silly head. We were watching a movie. I know. We, watched, no, we were watching Last of Us. Yeah, we, were, uh, we watched episode five and six of The Last of Us. And it's actually, it's getting interesting now. As I said before, we thought it was a slow start, but we're starting to get into it now. It's becoming a little more of a watch the characters, and they're going on this big, road adventure across to get somewhere to get uh the girl to uh some place that she thinks is going to help i think it's chicago they're going to some hospital some place but yeah anyways so you know he got the more burrito uh, doritos i keep saying burritos doritos bar backyard barbecue i wish we had sweet in that backyard why is I it wish backyard? We had burritos <laughs> it's isn't it sweet, sweet and, and tangy spicy? sweet and tangy mm. barbecue there you go. Anyways, backyard. Oh, there's our story, Edward. I said burritos too. I said burritos. Aye, aye, aye. Uh, yeah, well, speaking of burritos, but not burritos, we will be reviewing those new soft taco bowl <sighs> bowls from El, El Paso that's been advertised everywhere, those commercials. I thought you were going to say we're reviewing Mucho Burrito and I would have got a free burrito out of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, the barbecue Doritos are awesome. I'm buying four more bags tomorrow. Two for me and my mom. Wow. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, you know. So good. They get a little like they're actually eating that uh, like a, a barbecue. Yeah. It's the like, only issue so is. So bold. The only issue is some of the Doritos have way too much like seasoning on them. Mm -hmm. So you had to kind of search for the ones that don't look so dark. Wow. That's it's kind of hard to do when it's you your know what? living room light is turned off and you have a TV screen <laughs> that's shining blue on it. I think I forgot to mention we were doing those burritos. Now I understand that flavor. It's a hickory kind of smoke mm. barbecue. That's what it's like. It's bold. Oh, and like that. Oh, fuzzy. We have stuff. a guest. Fuzzy puppy. Oh, baby. She's talking about chips and fuzzy here. here. Hi, fuzzy. She's. This is her second time she's come down yeah, here. Yeah, what is so? Because uh, me and Anthony updated some of her photos for our thumbnails, and Fuzzy came down and she kept going meow and she hey, was baby. bugging. Hi, fuzzy, baby. you come say hi. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh my god. Uh, I know. Hair. I just Fuzzy is sh is shedding because it's like look. Oh, Anthony, don't. Oh, I'm, god, I'm getting god. it off her. Yeah. What do you, you think? Can, doing? Remember we do yeah, this before. Baby. Look, there's a hair right I'll here. Just tuck it over here. Oh, it's landed on my finger, oh. and it's coming over here to our water. Oh, well, but yeah, nice. it's the time of year before spring where she sheds because she's a short-haired domestic, but she's got lots of hair, Fuzzy. Look, it's even on here. Oh my God! Look at all the hair, Fuzzy. You, we have chips for you tonight. She wants a snack. Okay, well you get a snack, Fuzzy. No problem. And before we're done tonight, snack. We will be also talking about a movie we just saw. Yeah. And I, I actually did a quick review on YouTube Shorts, um, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quadramania. That was a good one. So we will talk about that. The Ant-Man movies are just so good. Yeah. Anyways. So today's snack, everybody. I went to Costco, and I seen this. I rarely buy chips anymore because we, we don't eat as many chips as we love to. But... Uh, these are covered bridge potato chips. They're from the Albright family potato farm that uh, basically started like uh, 80 years ago in Heartland, New Brunswick. That's in the Atlantic provinces on the east coast of Canada. And they use dark, Russell, dark, dark russet potatoes for their chips. 
And another thing about the covered bridge, it is basically the name of covered bridge. So there's a lot of covered bridges in North America and probably around the world, but in Heartland, New Brunswick, they have the world's longest covered bridge. And it's like 1,882 feet long. It's 391 meters. Every what time you do this, the table shakes and fuzzy goes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so hence the name, covered bridge. So this. Uh, oh, God. It, oh, it, God. This was the mistake. <laughs> remember in the summertime. Uh, we, don't put my water there. I was. We went to a uh, road trip to New Brunswick. We went to the water park and stuff. And we almost went to Heartland, New Brunswick to see it, but we drove on the highway and because of my GPS, I missed the cutoff and I didn't want to turn around. So we, we missed the, the covered bridge, <laughs> New Brunswick. Should we take her off the table? No, now? she's okay for now. Okay. You know, whatever. But anyway, this is the Mega Mix got at Costco, $5.99, big bag. And, uh, this, they have three flavors, smoking sweet barbecue, sea salt and vinegar, and all dressed. And they thought, you know what, cool cool graphics on the bag. It's very funky, which is kind of cool. And so I thought, you know what, I get three flavors for one. So I'm going to try that one out. And I don't think there's covered bridge in the United States for uh, you guys down in down the south there, but I'm not sure. But uh, okay. anyway, anyways, Anthony, let's rock and roll. Yeah, Canadian we chips. We haven't done a Canadian right. chips for a long time, right? Oh. We haven't done really like a lot of Canadian snacks recently, other than those uh, crocodile beef sticks, meat sticks we had. Fuzzy will be our additional uh, smell tester. Tonight. Wow. It smells like you're opening up a bag of French fries from a chip truck. Oh my God, it does. It Here, does. It smells smell. fuzzy. Smell. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. That's pretty good. It that smells now, really good. We got good. three flavors blended uh, in I here. I want to be putting it on the table. I'm trying to show fuzzy hair is all over. It. Okay, I'm just showing so just everybody in the bag. what they look like. It's it's like poutine. It's it's the potato. It's now, the fries from a food truck. With what ketchup. you guys also see in here is just like the picture. There's their darker areas here, and that's what how they cook these chips because they say the sweet texture and sugar of these dark Russell potatoes when they're like cooked, they turn that nice golden uh -oh. bronze uh -oh. color. Oh, your water. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> here, oh, baby. Now I think that they're, I think they're mixed, where you don't know which one you're getting. But here, oh, I think she's heading out. Yeah, look at the colors. <laughs> Look at the colors of those chips, eh? Isn't that cool? Oh, she took your seat! <laughs> <laughs> she took your seat! <laughs> Fuzzy! Oh! <laughs> Come here, Anthony. Oh, baby. Look at that color. Look at that golden color. Oh, my God. See that golden color? Oh. This is it almost like a sweet potato good. chip, doesn't it? This looks like a sweet potato chip. This is bringing back the memories of us going somewhere, and we come back and we just mm. stop at a food truck, get some fries with ketchup, and it's just the potato, uh, cut potato made into fries. That's exactly what this is. That was the sweet barbecue, and you can taste that French fry. Like it says canola oil, so canola. Oil? Yeah, basically that uh, oil into the chip is infused. So you're tasting like a almost like a burnt chip in a way, and with a little bit of the sweet barbecue taste on that one. One good chip after another, huh? First we had sweet and tangy Doritos. Now this, it's crazy. These just taste like really like a fresh cut chip. And this Not one's like a regular, regular barbecue, right? Like regular chips that you would normally have, like say. Lays and stuff that are like, like a lot. Well, definitely they're lighter and everything, but these are like they're potato y, but very cooked tasting. Like you can taste the oil a little bit into them. Mm. 
That was salt and vinegar. Man, I thought it was going to be barbecue. Yeah, I know. That's what I realized. That's really good. You have salt and vinegar, and you have ketchup slash barbecue. That tastes like you're getting French fry, cut French fries. They have a chip truck, and you put your malt vinegar and, and salt on them, and then eat them. You know what I'm missing right now? Get some ketchup and just put it on the chip. Well, okay. <laughs> exactly. Wow, that is crazy. That's a really tasty chip. Jewel's here. Mm. Hey, Cheeks and Afferly. Hello, Jewel. Anthony, I like your haircut. Thank you. Uh, I'm Afferly, not Anthony. Anthony, Anthony you know just got that haircut like two weeks ago, not even. Jewel forgot how to call me her nickname. Oh. Is it canola oil bad for you? I don't know. I think I think you're not supposed to have canola oil. But that is a great question because it says russet potatoes, canola oil, sugar, sea salt, vinegar powder, vinegar, and all the other stuff. Oh, somebody's oh. here. Oh, my God. We just oh, got no. French's Canadian oh, no. ketchup just been delivered here because we were talking about the chip truck. I guess we're obligated to do it now, right? Take a big chip and put ketchup on it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, there you go, I think. Hold on. Okay, it's ready. Okay. Don't go crazy. You don't squirt it everywhere. I'll try not to. Lord knows we have no napkins down here. Oh, never mind. This one's safe. These are filling chips. Okay, come on. And you can't tell. You just got to eat them. So if you like all three flavors, then just you're going to love the bag. If you're not, you you won't know what each flavor is. They all look the same. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Oh, there we Squeeze go. Squeeze it. <laughs> Fresh Canadian French fries. Come on. Well, oh, I got a squirt there. You know what's really funny? It tastes even better with the ketchup. Yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it tastes like a, it tastes like a chip truck with my ketchup on it. Because I usually I know have exactly. ketchup, the ketchup makes it vinegar even better. and everything, and I'll even go crazy and throw the gravy on with the ketchup because I just love it all piled on. Oh my god, we need to make a poutine with this sometime. Now, if the Albright the family, if Covered Bridge, are you that? watching the video? We're the I don't know if we're the only ones that actually like put ketchup on a French on chips on a video. You have one. It's good. I just ate one. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'll have another to prove my point. So you know what? A very interesting bag for $5.99, $6. Cheeks approved. Anthony super approved. These are like a great meal. You know, you just have a pile of these. You got the munchies at night, or you're hungry, you didn't have dinner. There is your potato chip dinner right here. Covered bridge with dark russet potatoes. Excellent. Good job. All right. So at least oh, we have some snacks nice. while we do. In, go into our movie review. Anthony will check the board here. Answer more comments. I love you guys. Oh, delicious. Su your support. Hit the like button. And... Uh, if you have any other questions, let us know here. Anthony, check the board. I feel like Gordon Ramsay. Just like mm. I was watching Gordon Ramsay videos yesterday to get some content for my own channel. It's okay. very funny what goes on in there. That'll be real ketchup chips. Yeah, that was. And you know what? It was good. This is the first time I'll ever say ketchup chips is Anthony, good. Anthony, I got an idea. This is an idea for Covered Bridge. So Covered Bridge. Put... As like, you know, like in, in cereal where you put your little like uh, toys or stuff in the box surprise, put a little couple of ketchup packages in your chips. Yes. <laughs> From covered bridge. Ketchup and gravy. Oh no, gravy would go off, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 But ketchup. Isn't that a cool idea? That'd be little funny. Ketchup, ketchup packets. There you are. Heard it there first from Product Patrol. You know what would be, <laughs> you know be really even funnier? What? If the ketchup packet somehow exploded inside the bag. And <laughs> you not have to deal with soggy chips. <laughs> Explosion in the bag. 
<laughs> but you could put like all kinds of different surprise packets in there too, right? For flavors. It's sky's the limit. Go crazy. Do you like hickory stick chips? Yes, I love them. <laughs> They're so good. I'll like grab, I used to grab them sometimes and like lick all the hickory off them because they were so good. Maybe when I was a kid, I used to do that. Oh. But hickory sticks are like a treasure that if you find so hickory sticks because they're so salty. Plus, you're like grabbing, like you're just going, mm, eating them. And the, they are, they're very salty, but they're unique taste and oh, so flavorful. It's salty, you know, that with the hickory spice there. But then, yeah, they're, they're crazy. Even the bag, they did a beautiful picture of the bag, the graphics. So when you see them, you know they're hickory sticks. They're so cool. We need to get some Twizzlers. Twizzlers? Yeah. Well, I don't know. You're talking about <laughs> sticks and it just came to mind. According to the experts, canola oil is considered a healthy oil because it's low in saturated fat. And like olive oil, it is high in okay. monounsaturated fat. Well, we've been told that all vegetable oils are not very good for us for some reason. Um, I don't know. I, it's a, it's, if, it's a, if it's a vegetable oil, it's classified as a vegetable oil. It's not the greatest. So it, if it's it, not good for us, why are we eating? I, I don't know. What are you going to do? We're just, <laughs> everybody has their own choice for anything. When I bought it, I didn't really look at the oil. I just bought it because there was a, you know, a big bag of chips with different flavors. And I've had, I've seen the name covered, covered bridge. Uh, they say no preservatives, no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, no trans fat, gluten free. And where else did they say on here? There was anything else? Mm, just says zero trans fats. That's all. I thought it said somewhere they were something was organic. I don't know if it was the potatoes, but I think it was the potatoes. On the it website, probably is. Let's on the website, honest. go to this the website, Anthony. Type in authentic. covered bridge because I read this before we did the video, and I believe it did say they were GMO free. So maybe not organic, but they're GMO free. GMO free potatoes. Like that covered bridge, right there. There you go. They are carefully cooked in a potato factory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, what does it say? Anthony? They're harvested from the St. John River Valley in the hearts of potato country. And okay. carefully cooked in their local factory. Okay, we'll keep going. That's the anatomy of the chip. Okay. It said something about the potatoes. Well, I guess not. No? Where is it? Check out the process. Here we go. What's the process? No. From the ground From up. From the ground up. We're still looking. And another they are washed and scrubbed before getting No, that's nothing, again. Anthony. They <laughs> were scrubbed. <laughs> But anyways, and they also said about the a covered bridge. I was curious why the covered bridge. And they said, uh, well, this bridge it was built in 1901. The covered bridge was to help the structure, the timber trusses from not rotting. So that's why they covered them. And another cool fun fact, uh, they said that uh, these covered bridges were also called kissing bridges. So they would... Uh, the, the guys who had the horse, they would train their horses to stop halfway on the bridge and take a pause so they could kiss their their woman, their, their girlfriend or whoever it is, and uh, have a moment. <laughs> under the, under the, that's why they call them kissing bridges. And when they were going to cover this bridge, apparently there was a lot of people outspoken because they thought it was bad for the morales of the of the people there because they didn't want them kissing halfway in the bridge. <laughs> That's the where you went that? to make out in the covered bridge. You didn't have like a car. Why not? Just look away. Who cares? <laughs> so anyways. Then again, I'm the same person that was going, oh, disgusting when people were kissing in the high school uh, hallways. Anyway, uh, what's what are you doing? <laughs> kissing in the hallways. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> You're doing Ant-Man? Oh, yeah. Anthony's all ready for Ant-Man. Well, that's uh, moving on. Yeah, Ant-Man. So uh, we went to go see it on Family Day in Ontario. It was February the 20th. There was a holiday, mm -hmm. statutory holiday. We went to Aurelia. We went to Cineplex there. It was called uh, Galaxy Cinemas. 
the place was uh, not very busy. And most of the people there probably went to see Ant-Man because it was packed, the theater. Now, February 17th, it did come out. But the only choices other than Ant-Man were Titanic. <laughs> Who wants to see and that? And that's a 25th anniversary. You're not going to sit for like hours to see that movie again. Most people have probably never even seen it. And but it was a good movie when we saw it. Avatar 2 and which got terrible reviews. It, apparently. I just didn't feel comfortable sitting in a theater for four hours or something like to watch a movie. We fall asleep. Is it that long? It's long. It's like three hours. Holy and crap. Three hours? 40 minutes or something. <laughs> something crazy. I don't know. So maybe someone can Edward, if you know that fact for a movie, it is a long movie. Uh, Puss in Boots, uh, we weren't going to see that. <laughs> and, and it was a horror movie and something else that was weirdo. I don't know what it was. But, but Ant-Man felt really short. Like, everything went by Two so hours fast. and 14 minutes, Ant-Man. Yeah, it was two hours. It felt like an hour 30. Well, maybe two hours. I was hours, loving two it. Two solid hours. The rest of it's all advertising in the credits because they have long credits. So what we loved about Ant-Man, just like the Ant-Man series, but... What they went into the, the realm, the what was it, Quadrum Quantum Realm? Quantum Realm, it was crazy. Yeah. That was that was cool that it all took place in the quantum realm. If you never seen something like that, it blows your imagination, the creativity of them going in the quantum realm. It's just visually the movie was so cool, so many colors, crazy creatures, the environment. You like they, they landed on a different planet in some scenes. And Ant Man, the whole family were there. His daughter's grown up, and they get sucked oh, into yeah. quantum mania. If you were like me and you were waiting for the daughter to become a superhero too, then boy, do we have the movie for you! Because <laughs> I was so happy when she had her own like Ant Man suit and all that, right? Because yeah, she was going on and on and on about, oh my god, I want to help people. I want to be a superhero just like you, Dad. And then it finally happens. The entire movie, you have so you have three main characters. You have the wife of Ant Man or whoever she is. You have Ant Man himself, and then Ant Man's daughter. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, uh, basically. Too bad Ant Man's an idiot. Well, we don't want to give away the movie too much, but a lot of crazy creatures there. And what I liked about the the movie was. These people are like living under like a dictatorship from evil. Yeah. And they're hiding. And because Ant-Man and the crew show up, it highlights what they're where they're living and they basically get attacked. Yeah. So they have to fight for their right to survive freedom. So that that's what I saw the movie is like total freedom where you know what? It seems like wherever you go, there's evil. The movie was and just there's awesome. always gonna be conflict. And there was always had to fight for your freedoms. There and they even so did that many, in the quantum realm. There were so many different factions in that movie. It was awesome. Oh, yeah. Way too many creatures. You have the evil guys. You have the city from the last movie. You have the the freedom faction or whatever. <laughs> and then we won't tell you, but there's a fourth one. We both know what that is. Okay. Huh? We won't say yeah. too much anyway, about that. But there's one character I really love from the movie. Anthony if will you tell you see about that. him... You're going to remember this quote. Let's torture him! <laughs> <laughs> that one's my favorite. Yeah. I love that guy. But, you know, for You'll see what I mean. Two hours. I I gave it uh, a generous 10, but maybe I was just saying because it was so fun, but I exaggerated. But I would give it a solid 9 out of 10. Definitely. An, right? I think, yeah, 9 out of 10, probably. Yeah, I give it a solid 9 out of 10, and... Uh, at the end, it uh, all those Easter eggs at the end, if you watch the credits and wait, there's probably telling there might be another one. So Yeah, I can't wait for that either. <laughs> and then it's so I, much we fun. We recommend it totally. Go back in time, watch the original Ant-Man, then part two, you will be hooked because it's funny, it's humorous, it's fun action movie, and Paul Rudd is amazing, and Ant-Man... All the things that they do, how they shrink things and do stuff is so much fun. You got to check out Ant-Man. Yeah. You will love it. And it doesn't really matter because if you if you haven't seen Infinity War or Endgame or whatever, 
the 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 last Ant Man movie, uh, his family basically half of them dies because they were wiped <laughs> out by they were wiped out by Thanos, right? And yeah. then in this one, most people are confused now. This from one, what you're saying. suddenly back, but you don't have to worry about it because they never talk about it again. So you don't have to watch any of the other Marvel movies to understand well. what's going on. Go to the board, Anthony. I think there was uh, something new there. Uh, back to canola oil. Other experts say it contributes to inflammation and may worsen memory. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey. Costa Re- oh, hey. I need a guy. Raphael. Hello. Hey. Pura, Pura Vida. How's it going, my friend? So I, Yeah, he was this, just at Costa Rica. Yeah, this is uh, a friend of mine that I met in really? Tamarindo. Nice. And, uh, Raphael, uh, you know, we just connected again on Facebook, and I told him, I said, I'm going live tonight at 8 o'clock, so thanks for stopping by, and I hope to be in Costa Rica for another visit, hopefully down the road, but just, I'm I'm planning, <laughs> so <laughs> I'll be there soon, but what, what uh, I'll let you, sp- I'll keep you posted, for sure. What do they speak in Costa Rica? Like Spanish. What is, this? is it Spanish? Spanish. Okay. Let me put yeah. that in the Google Translate. <laughs> Anthony's going to do that. But, yeah, these are the chips, Raphael. They're from can- Canada. They're like, uh, almost like old-fashioned potato chips and nice and easy going, golden fried, that kind of stuff. Kind of good. Very good. Just like eating French fries, these chips. And they're we're famous for our potatoes in east coast of Canada. These are like dark russet potatoes. And they say they have that golden bronze going on inside the chip, which is nice. And, you know, people love their potatoes here. And probably where you are in Costa Rica, you know, uh, they love their potatoes as well. But the one thing I didn't notice in Costa Rica is like French fries, like homemade French fries on like little places. Like we call them chip trucks. Like they'd be everywhere. But I didn't really notice them very much there. So that was something different i'm sure they would catch on there maybe i don't know he says it's 35 degrees 35 in tamarindo oh. <laughs> i don't know what guan cast means so i'm assuming yeah guanacaste probably... is the province it's like ontario okay. or something so i'm assuming that's celsius because it's definitely not fahrenheit well 35 is extremely hot in canada in the summertime we usually get like 20 is hot. We get like 30 <laughs> degrees would be a very nice day. 30 in the summer. degrees for me, so. I would be melting into a puddle. He wouldn't survive the heat. I would 35 survive. is no would be too hot. I, I would I would be like sitting beside the fan all day or just like I, I would wanna if we're going to the beach that day, screw that. I'm sitting in the car. Yeah. Having the AC on. Uh next. What, what movie was almost three and a half hours? That was Avatar 2. We thought that that was Avatar 2 was that, uh, or Titanic. I know Titanic was long, but Avatar was a long movie, and I'm sure Avatar 2 is long as well. Let's see how long it is, Anthony. Avatar 2 length. Because it's hard to sit in a the theater that long. Because you can only eat so much popcorn, right? <laughs> Avatar 2. Okay, Avatar 2 is 3 hours and 12 minutes. I exaggerated. Okay, still long. Well, you almost exaggerated. 3 it's, hours it's and 12 minutes. It's only 18 minutes. Okay, the first shorter. movie, Avatar, how long was that? Avatar, I have to type in one, Avatar movie. Okay. Avatar one was, what does it say? Um, I can't just sit here with an open bag of chips. That was in 2009. Uh, Oh my God, where's the big one? Avatar. We don't see it. Avatar movie length. Two hours and 42 minutes. The first Avatar. Mm -hmm. So they shaved some time for the second one because they probably thought it was too long. It finally happened. Yeah. Yeah. These squeeze bottles are just like squirt, Anthony. (laughs) Anyways, people. 
uh yeah i don't know has anybody seen avatar 2 i uh, we haven't seen it camera lady saw it she liked it but uh we haven't seen it yet anthony one more comment there huh hit the comments there where hey i'm dealing Anything with the else? table got ketchup we get going that's it that's it okay anyways uh thanks everybody for watching tonight and yeah go check out ant-man and let us know what you think and very good movie if you like comedy and try acting, these chips right. anyways catch you guys later have a beautiful weekend with and live life loud cheers and cheeks out catch you later edward catch you later jewel and Raphael. catch you later as well bye bye nice to see you come on the live bye bye see ya <laughs> pura, pura via. Oh, one month for Edward. I haven't seen any Avatar movies. Me!